<laughs> uh, next bit of news is that, and I don't know exactly what date this is, but Medusa leaves WCW either right at the end of 1992 or early 93, but I think it's the end of 1992. Do you know why? Because I don't. I, I don't. Those are the types of things that happened. You know, if you look back over your career and you're thinking like, okay, these you know, really great talents are there, and then poof, they're gone. They, they, mm-hmm. they just disappear. It happened so often that like it was sort of just like the uh, the milk carton week. Like who's on the milk carton this week? Like who's no here, not here anymore? Uh, but you know, you're so nose to the grindstone. You have your own stuff to pay attention to, and you know, tending to your stuff. That uh, for me anyway, there wasn't time to you know, go into the, the soap opera of everybody else's stuff. Um, you know, you'd, you'd hear scuttlebutt, you'd hear little rumors and stuff like that. But, but Ducey was like, in fact, through her career, like I, where those few places, our careers would inter inter see each other, like cross over. Uh, that seems to be the takeaway. She's there and then she's not. And then she's there and then she's not. Uh, but I think a lot of that, like my take on it now and looking back is that Medusa was ever a professional. And uh, uh, when, things would get to the she she was one of those people that had that that foresight that okay well this is heading in the wrong direction no reason to play it out and get out of here uh that was the way i always took it i don't know if that's the way it was but um you know i've always seen her like one of the like the professional pros in our in our business uh one of the possibly the reason was supposedly that she wanted to wrestle in wcw wasn't really interested in a women's division but you know what i looking back at many years ago WWF in the mid 90s and WCW when she jumped over there is a man do you know what especially for a, it might seem weird me saying it but a western woman in the 90s man she could go like the Japanese girls back in the day she really really was really good and WCW yeah. especially just would not let her wrestle at all if they could help it yeah, I, yeah, and I think in WCW there was always this. Even though we were outwardly saying we're the wrestling company, and you know, and that was what it looked like, there was always this nipping around the periphery of trying to mimic, in some ways, the sports entertainment stuff. And I always thought it was a, just a, an absolute mistake. It, as a business person, whether it's you know selling hot dogs on the street corner, professional wrestling, the last thing you want to do is be Johnny Come Lately to the hot thing. You want to be the guy that's creating the next hot thing, and uh, as with the last episode we did on the on the uh, the one uh, uh, pay per view, and now uh, today the clash. Uh, when I'm watching that, I'm thinking to myself, "There's a, these are good matches. You know, the the, the, the talent's really good in the ring, and uh, you, you know, it's they to me WCW made its fatal mistake." Uh, and who knows if it would have been sold or not after that. But to me, the, the, where, where WCW really started c- carving out its own headstone was when it started trying to mimic the sports entertainment stuff. Uh, it, that was never seen as that kind of a company. And we were never going to out Vince Vince at being Vince. Uh, let him be that. Let's be this over here. And even if there's a little bit less you know, rating or money than than them over there, uh, I would dare say Aris Prada was a lot cheaper company to run at that time, comparative. Uh, so find the demographic that you can own. Uh, their money's as green as everybody else's. There may be less of them, but you're not going to steal away many of the other companies, uh, kids like in WWS case, the tweeners, uh, and in WCW's case, the older people that have grown up watching the NWA and all of that. Th- those are, you know, it's like trying to get people to switch cigarette brands, right? They, they're going to stick with what they are. And the same thing with wrestling. Wrestling fans, the same thing. And, and w- when you digress from that, when you move away from what it is you you intended originally for your promotion to be, that's when I think you start losing fans. 